In this problem, we're told at highway speeds, a particular automobile is capable of an acceleration of about 1.8 meters per second squared. At this rate, how long does it take it to accelerate from 80 kilometers per hour to 110 kilometers per hour? So before we solve this problem, let's write down what we're given. So we're told that an automobile is capable of an acceleration of about 1.8 meters per second squared. So they tell us acceleration is basically going to be 1.8 meters per second squared. And then we're also told at this rate, how long does it take to accelerate from this, which uh, is 80 kilometers per hour, to 110 kilometers per hour. So they tell us that our initial velocity is going to be, which is just v sub 0, is going to be 80 kilometers per hour. So basically when they say from this to this, it means from our initial velocity to our final velocity. So our final velocity is going to be 110 kilometers per hour. So initial velocity 80, final velocity 110. And then they're asking us to find, or they're saying, how long does it take? So when they say how long, that means they're asking us for like some time. So t is what we're trying to find. So t equals question mark. And so in order to solve this, what you need to realize first is that our velocity, our initial velocity and final velocity is given in kilometers per hour. And our acceleration is given in meters per second squared. So we need them to both, or all of them to be in the same. So we're going to change these to meters per second. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's start with the 80 and then we'll do this one. So 80 kilometers per every single hour. So in order to get the kilometers to meters, we have to multiply it by 1,000. So 1,000 meters in one kilometer, that'll cancel the kilometers. And then in order to get the hour, there's one hour for every 60 minutes, and then one minute for every 60 seconds. And you'll see that this cancels the hour, cancels with this hour, this minute cancels with this minute, and then we'll just be left with meters over seconds. So we need to take 80, multiply by 1,000, divide by 60, divide by 60. So we can just take 80, multiply by 1,000, divide by 3,600. So if you go ahead and do that, uh, 80 times 1,000 is 80,000, divided by 3,600 is 22.222 meters per second. So this is going to be for 80 kilometers per hour, so 22.222 meters per second. And so you see how this works. We just do uh, our number times 1,000 divided by 3,600. So I'm not going to walk you through this one, but we just got to take 110 uh, and then multiply by 1,000, which gives you 100, 110,000, divide by uh, 3,600, and you should get 30.555 and so on. I'm just going to round here to a 6. So 30.556 meters per second. So now we've got everything in the same units. Now we just need to solve. So we're going to plug these into a formula. Now we have to decide which one to use. So if you look at 2, 3, and 4, all of them contain delta x. And so delta x is a uh, distance, right? So we're not given any distance here. So we're not going to be using any of those. So 4, 3, and 2 don't work. If you look at number one, we have all the variables given. We have v, we have v sub zero, we have a, and we're trying to solve for t, right? So all we gotta do is just plug in and solve. So v, which is 30.556 equals v sub zero, which is 22.222 plus a, which is 1.8 uh, times t. And so this is gonna be our formula. We just gotta solve for t. So you got to do 30.5, or we got to get this 22 to the other side, right? Or get it, get rid of it. So subtract both sides by it. It'll cancel there. 30.556 divided, or minus 22.222 is going to give you 8.334. So it's going to be equal to 1.8 T. And then divide both sides by 1.8. That'll get rid of that on that side. And then we'll just have 8.334 divided by 1.8. You're going to get that. It equals 4.63. So t is going to be equal to 4.63. Uh, you can round however you want. Uh, I'm just going to round to the tenths place. So this is just going to become, or stay 6. So 4.6, and then we're using meters per second, right? So this is going to be in seconds. So the amount of time it takes is going to be 4.6 seconds.